सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम वंस अगेन टू दिस स्टेप बाय स्टेप पाइथन ट्यूटोरियल फॉर एब्सोल्यूट बिगनर्स दिस इज द पार्ट टू ऑफ दिस वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट ओवरव्यू ऑफ आर कोर्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ पाइथन सो दिस इज पार्ट वन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ पाइथन वन मोर थिंग आई विल अटैच दिस अटैच दिस पी पी टी फाइल अलॉन्ग विद माई कोर्स सो वट एवर इज रिटर्न इन साइड दिस पी पी टी फाइल यू कैन रीड फ्रॉम हेयर ऑल्सो सो इट विल वर्क एज सम स्टडी मटीरियल फॉर यू ऑल्सो सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज पाइथन इज अ वेरी पावरफुल एंड ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड हाई लेवल प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो वन की वर्ड इज हाई लेवल प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज एंड इट इज़ वेरी ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड सो इफ यू कंपेयर इट टू समथिंग लाइक जावा जावा इज नॉट दैट ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड जावा इज ऑल्सो अ वेरी पावरफुल लैंग्वेज बट इफ यू कंपेयर जावा और सी शार्प टू पाइथन दैन द सिंटैक्स ऑफ पाइथन इज रियली ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड दैट्स वाई मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल हु आर फ्राम नॉन टेक्निकल बैकग्राउंड हैव प्रिफर्ड पाइथन इट इज़ अ जनरल पर्पज प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज एंड इट रिक्वायर्स ओनली इंटरप्रिटर्स एंड इट डू नॉट रिक्वायर कंपाइलर्स सो वट एवर वी आर डिस्कसिंग इन दिस पार्ट सो आई विल एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू वेन वी विल क्रिएट आर प्रोग्राम्स थर्ड थिंग इज इट इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज एवरीथिंग इन पाइथन इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट सो there are many libraries which are already created and uh, everything in python whenever we write anything in python so it is an object of some class so that's how we can understand it so for example if you are familiar with bmw cars so bmw cars are these cars are objects and these cars are object of a family uh, these cars are object of a class and that class is known as car so next if, uh, suppose you are uh, using a toyota uh, you have a toyota car you have a car of uh, toyota brand so that toyota car is also an object of the same class so that is how you can understand class and objects so a class is a definition a class is a library a class is a blueprint and it is a set of rules you can say a uh, a class has some data a class has some methods associated with it and all the objects of that class follow the same methods for example car has four wheels and every car will have four wheel so every car of that class will have four wheels so they have one engine they have a steering so you you can understand from the definition of a car that toyota is also a car and bmw is also a car so we will discuss about this object oriented programming concept so this object oriented programming concept is actually part of the advanced course so if you are at beginner level uh, you don't have to worry about this thing too much so in the core level because you are learning core python so simply uh, stick to this tutorial and uh, simply uh, follow every uh, simply follow every, every lecture and uh, you will be able to understand the basics of python so next thing is creator of python was guido van rosum during 1985 and 1990 python supports following uh, programming paradigms yeah. it is object oriented it is imperative it is functional it is procedural and it has large and comprehensive standard library python is both strongly typed and dynamically typed so this is the introduction of python if you have not understood uh, some parts of this video it it doesn't actually matter because when you will start developing or when you will start typing your 
program these things will not really matter and slowly you will start understanding these things also it focuses on uh, readability and productivity now next thing uh, which is important for you is python runs on all major operating systems including windows mac os or linux and hence it is a cross platform programming language another thing is python is open source so you don't have to pay anything to use python basically python uses white spaces for indentation now this thing is a uh, again for advanced users uh, who have some knowledge of uh, programming so if you have some knowledge of programming there you know the meaning of indentation so when we will discuss about loops uh, th uh, then uh, we will discuss this indentation and this white space thing so th you don't have to worry too much uh, some programming languages use uh, curly brackets Uh, for creating loops and uh, but in python uh, white spaces are used for indentation if you are familiar with programming languages such as c or java so you will find out that some expressions in python are similar to them while others are not so that's what i am uh, i want to tell you if you are familiar about some programming language then you will see that something in python is really similar to those programming languages if you are not familiar or if you are Uh, doing programming for the first time then uh, you can uh, leave these things you you will learn from scratch and uh, python is used by famous organizations like it is used by google nasa pvs etc and uh, this is the basic syntax of python so so that you can understand how you can uh, do anything in python suppose we want to print hello world on our screen so it is really really simple because we want to print hello world on our screen so you will write print then you will use parenthesis parenthesis are these or, or you can call them round brackets also so after every function there is an opening round bracket and uh, a closing round bracket and inside opening and closing round bracket there are these uh, single uh, these are single or double quotes and inside those single or double quotes there are some words or there can be numbers so there can be alphabets there can be numbers there can be anything suppose uh, you can write your email id also abc@google.com for example so you can write anything inside these parentheses and that will be printed to screen so this is how simple python is you don't have to import anything you don't have to include anything you can simply write this and python will print it for you so this is the ide of uh, python and uh, this ide or you can call it a simple software this ide is known as uh, idle i d l e idle and you can write and type python program here uh, this is very helpful uh, for beginners so for, for example you you will write print print is a function then you will open parenthesis close parenthesis and inside this uh, type uh, double quotes and write anything you can write your name or you can write anything write like so and you can see uh, this is the output so whatever you have written inside your print uh, is printed on python you can write 56 plus 78 and python will give the sum of 56 and 78 for you so you don't have to declare anything you can write x is equal to 56 you can write y is equal to 78 uh, these are two variables you can write x plus y and it will give you the answer so this is how simple python is and we have to learn this so we will learn this step by step i will keep explaining everything to you so you don't have to worry if you have missed something in this video again this is just an introduction and you don't have to worry too much about it so next uh, i will uh, discuss 
uh, what can be developed using python what are some real world applications of python so python can be used to create uh, web and internet development that means if you will learn python uh, what you can do so you can uh, do job as a web developer uh, for example you can create erp softwares you can create erp or enterprise resource planning softwares uh, these softwares are used by organizations for their daily activities uh, for example you can develop an erp for a school and uh, in a school uh, they keep record of every student record of every teacher they keep record of uh, fee submission they keep a record of their course they keep a record of uh, their holidays and everything so so financial data and everything can be managed in an erp software uh, they keep record of their daily expenses so you can create applications for schools and uh, those applications can be on web or those applications can be on desktop also so you uh, suppose you go to some uh, super store uh, uh, for example easy day super store or walmart super store or spencer super store so uh, there uh, you find that uh, various products are there so and whenever you buy a product uh, there is an application that is used to uh, create bill for you so create your sales bill so the application that that is uh, generating sales bill for you can be developed using python and uh, that can be a desktop or gui application next python has uh, libraries python has advanced libraries and uh, those libraries are very much helpful for statistics and uh, data analytics also for example if you are if you watch uh, football matches or soccer matches or if you watch uh, cricket match or tennis or any type of sports so between uh, whenever a commentator um, wants to uh, display some uh, statistics to you they display it using uh, some graphs they, uh, and they can display them using bar graph pie chart or linear graphs or whatever so python can be used to draw those graphs for you and python can uh, read data from any source uh, from any uh, suppose uh, you have a excel file or you have a csv file or uh, you have an html file or where uh, you have a sql file so wherever you have stored your data python can read that data and then after reading that data python can process it and uh, after processing that data it can uh, create graphs for you and uh, you know graphs are easy to understand next thing is python can be used for software development as we discussed already that you can create uh, any type of software using python and uh, python can be used to access databases like i mentioned so every organization has a database every organization that does work uh, in a professional way Uh, mostly has a database where they store the uh, data about their daily activities uh, where they da store data about their financial transactions their upcoming task um, and uh, sales profit loss everything so python can be used to access those uh, those database python can be used to create applications uh, that can insert data in those databases python so you can create uh, database applications using python so after doing this course uh, you can uh, op, you can uh, do this course also you can learn uh, languages like mysql or you can learn languages like uh, any language uh, related to sql like postgresql sqlite mysql ms sql you can learn any sql based language and you can connect python easily with mysql and uh, you can create an application where uh, after typing uh, after taking input from user uh, you will save values in database so we have a separate course for that also so next uh, python can be used for network programming python can be used for games and 3d graphics development so uh, this python script can be used 
uh, for example uh, if you are uh, familiar with a software called blender so blender is a free to use uh, open source uh, software for 3d modeling 2d modeling and uh, game development uh, blender has an internal gaming engine uh, the earlier version of blender has an internal gaming engine and there are various gaming engine uh, with which uh, blender can work with and uh, you can write python scripts to create uh, to interact with those 3d models and everything so again this is one very uh, big advantage of learning python uh, you can see the variety of it and the most important application of python is in artificial intelligence and machine learning so if you are not familiar about uh, machine learning uh, for example driverless cars if you are familiar about uh, tesla's driverless cars or if you are familiar about uh, any particular uh, chatbot or any particular virtual uh, private assistant like siri for iphone or google assistant for android phones so this google assistant siri those driverless cars are all example of machine learning uh, uh, if uh, you see a uh, google lens software is there so if you click an image so google lens will tell you what is what that particular image is that is also machine learning so there are various algorithms in machine learning and uh, there are many uh, libraries that are already written and the uh, the main base of those libraries is python language so if you have basic knowledge of python then you can go straight to this artificial intelligence and machine learning thing on um, on my youtube channel uh, i have a uh, separate uh, video for basics of machine learning you can go there and learn about that also so this is what can be developed using python and uh, there are many things that we can do with python that might not have been covered in this list but mostly everything uh, that you can do with python is covered here and you can choose any of these options as your career option uh, for example statistics and data analytics and artificial and machine learning if you are good in maths if you are good in statistics then uh, you can pursue this if you are good in 3d designing if you have some prior experience of uh, creating 2d and 3d designs then you can go for game development and 3d graphics using python and uh, you can also choose web development and software development if you want to pursue your career as a software developer so i hope you have understood uh, what is the use of python what what can be what python can be used for and uh, you can see how simple the syntax of python is and uh, so in the upcoming chapters of this uh, tutorial we will start with uh, installing python in your computer and uh, installing python idle ide and then uh, i will demonstrate you how you can write your first python program so thanks for watching have a nice day